we proposed a transition period in the first place. That was a, a Labour proposal, and that obviously has to be a transition. At the moment, it's um, it's not set in stone, but it's, it's talked around for two years. I, would I've you be happy feeling, for it to be longer? I've got a feeling it might go beyond that. And would you be happy with that? Yes, yeah. because I do, I do think the priority has to be our investment in different parts of Britain to ensure we do get fair economic growth across the whole of the UK, but it also has to be protecting jobs of those industries that rely on trade with Europe, particularly in the Midlands and the North East. Uh, it's interesting speaking to you because you're obviously keen to say that the issues you have with the way the government is handling Brexit very different to how you would do it. But people in your party, members, feel that the issue is with Brexit itself, that it should be stopped. Some people uh, certainly do. Um, Momentum members, for example, thousands of them signing this petition calling uh, for a second referendum. Can you rule out a second referendum we've under your leadership? that we don't see a second referendum uh, um, as on our agenda. What we've said is we want Parliament to have the right to a final say and to have a, um, an amendable motion on it so we can actually go through what the deal is. The uh, vote two weeks ago was not to accept that particular idea, but it will come back to Parliament and we will look. keep on with that. And we will, if we're not happy with the final negotiations, we'll vote against them. I'm still a little bit unclear. You know, you're the sort of straight talking man of politics, if you like. Are you ruling out a second referendum? Look, we've not proposed it, we've not supported it, and we're not proposing it now. So you're ruling it out? We're not supporting a second referendum. Okay, I think that's probably as close as I'm, I'm going to get to that in that case.